This is so weird. Okay, it has been a long time since I made a YouTube video. So I'm currently sitting in Ella's room. She's out of town right now, she's in Arizona. YouTube has been really hard for me to stay consistent. I figured it's a good time to start up again. It's a new year and I have a lot of like change happening right now. I'm moving, which is really crazy to say because I still haven't even processed it very much. I'm gonna be alone, so I'm gonna need someone to talk to. So I figured I might as well just give this another shot. This is like the most change I've ever experienced besides like moving away and going to college in San Diego. If you would have asked me six weeks ago if I would be leaving LA, that I would be single, I would have said, you're crazy. LA definitely does feel like home to a certain extent. I have an opportunity to go travel and live abroad. I've just been praying about it a lot and I feel like it's just the perfect opportunity. Like I said, I'm recently out of a relationship, which is another story. Also, I guess I forgot to mention like where I'm even going, but I am moving to Thailand, which is crazy. I'm moving to Bangkok. It's something that like I've always wanted to do. I never thought I would do it anytime soon, but my mom is from Thailand. I visited there like multiple times because my family still lives there. I was thinking about like maybe trying to get signed and model in London or Australia or a different city. Like I was really open to anywhere. I just really wanted to go abroad. And then I just kind of thought of Thailand randomly. And I was like, honestly, how perfect would that be to go right now? Like it's the perfect time I can go like while I don't have a lease here in LA and then I can come back and find a new apartment here and it just seems like the perfect fit. I'm leaving on Tuesday, which is in two days, but my mom is flying in from Portland on Tuesday morning, and then we're literally flying straight to South Korea. And then from South Korea, I'm flying to Bangkok. So I'm gonna be living there with my uncle. I'll have my agency there, which is already set up. So it feels like everything has just been like falling into place. Like I've just been praying about it so much and it feels like, it's been so clear as to what I'm supposed to do. Like everything has just been laid out so perfectly for me. <sighs> I'm leaving. I think I'm most anxious about like leaving my comfort zone. All of my people are here. I'm so comfortable with like my routine here in LA and it's gonna be so different like being in a completely different country. But I'm so grateful that my mom's coming because I don't speak Thai and she'll just definitely help me like get situated and settled. There is a lot I wanna accomplish there. I want to model, I want to learn more about like my culture. I want to find a new manufacturer for Araya. That's like a whole nother thing I want to do. But I'm going to to take you along and finish packing. I'm seeing my sister today for the last time. She's driving up from Orange County and then we are going to a photo shoot. Hopefully create a lot of good content while I'm in Thailand. I'll do my best. So here we go. All right, so we made it. You guys, this is my little sister. Say hi, hi. Sydney. Hi. So yeah, we're on our way to a shoot right now and it's our last time ever hanging out together before I move. How are you feeling about me moving? Um, not good. Now when I come to LA, I don't have anyone to hang out with. Okay, but Ella's gonna be here and Sophia's moving here, so you're still gonna have people to stay with if you want. True. Are you sad? Um, I think it'll be a good break. <laughs> in terms of me being in LA, then yeah, it's sad. So you're just using me? So you only like that I'm here because you have a place to stay? And you provide me with fun things to do. Okay. Okay, so I literally leave tomorrow morning. I'm kind of a disaster right now trying to pack everything. I'm just like really nervous about not having like all of my essential items I need. And then I have another suitcase that I'm packing like with just my clothes and my shoes. But I think I need to pack like a third bag. I've been feeling pretty good about everything I've gotten done. I've had to run so many errands today just to get everything ready. I just don't know like what clothes to bring because it's 95 degrees in Bangkok. Don't think I'm gonna need like as many pants, like 95 degrees every day just walking around. I feel like I just need like dresses and shorts and then like good walking shoes. I'm super excited because I just went to this film store in LA because I really wanted to get a film camera to take on my trip. I'm 
definitely not a photographer so I got some film and I just bought this like nice film camera because I want to take like a bunch of like photos obviously like of my trip but then also for my swim brand kind of document like my whole time in Thailand and kind of get a bunch of filler photos that I can use like for my social media pages for Araya Swim. So I wanted to invest in a nice film camera so that I can get some good quality photos while I'm there. But I have this like Olympus stylus camera. I don't know. Shout out to Austin and Keely for helping me figure this out because I honestly still have no clue how to use it. Um, yeah, but otherwise I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night like packing and organizing I'm about to go get Ella from the airport because she's coming back from Arizona And then we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night and I'm really sad because I have to leave her tomorrow morning <laughs> Why are you smiling? Because Ella's super depressed because today is the day that I'm leaving I'm taking her to the airport and she's smiling. Nothing's funny about this. This is not funny and It hasn't hit me yet. It will hit me when I'm on the plane. We got our final Starbucks together. I know that they have Starbucks in Thailand, but. Summer doesn't think they have anything in Thailand, so like. No. <laughs> she doesn't realize where she's moving is a big city, so like last night she went and got a bunch of makeup that she doesn't need. I, I look it up, there's like eight Sephora's in Bangkok. I genuinely didn't think I would have my Laneige or like my NARS concealer for months, so I just went to Sephora and got a bunch of stuff, but. Um, okay, so what are you gonna miss most about me? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm gonna miss sleeping with you at night, <laughs> your back pickles, eating every meal together. I don't think I'll like be normal without you. Like I don't think I'll remember like to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like I'm not gonna remember. I don't know how to work out. Like I don't know <laughs> how to do function? anything. It's kind of true though. You were gone the last couple of days, and like without you there, I just like didn't know what to do next. You went rogue. <laughs> I I did go. I literally did. No, just kidding, guys. I am happy for her. Just not happy enough to encourage it. Yeah. She's showing me these girls that she wants to be friends with in Thailand that she's <laughs> finding on Instagram. I'm like, who do you think you are? You're not finding new friends. She's showing me girls that she's going to start hanging out with in LA <laughs> the second that I leave. I do already have plans to start hanging out with new people, and that's what she gets for doing this to me. One thing about me is that I will get to the airport just before my flight, even if it's international. We left literally so early and it's taken us two hours to get here. So Ella got me a little going away gift, which is so sweet. And she got me these Apple Air Tags because I will probably lose my luggage at some point. So I'm trying to figure out how to set them up. Yeah, because people lose their bags and everyone says you should have an Air Tag now. I'm feeling sick to my stomach, you guys. I really... My mom's here and she's literally walking that far ahead of me. Why is she walking so far ahead? I found my mother. Mom, why did you decide to wear jeans for a 13 hour flight? Because it's comfortable. Jeans are not comfortable. My mom just flew in from Portland this morning and she's at LAX now. <laughs> Look at how short you are. at 6 a.m. out of Portland. She's really tired. I am very tired. And I'm eating a donut for breakfast. Okay, so it's been eight hours. Oh my gosh. And I still have like five hours to go. So we finally made it to South Korea. And I already lost my SD card on the last flight, so I can't even film on my camera anymore. And I'm delusional because it's like 2 a.m. in LA. Okay, we finally made it. Literally like 22 hours later, I'm pushing my cart. It's like 11 p.m. here and like 8 a.m. in LA, so I'm wide awake, ready to start the day. I'm gonna go back and go to bed soon. And I'll have my first full day tomorrow.